Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody needs some help with a logo, and they asked me to don't use the name. It's a foreign country, a foreign company, so nobody, not too many people are going to recognize it. Uh, but they didn't want their telephone number and everything on there. They just, they really need both these. But that would be really easy. This is a little. It's really pretty easy when you. I've really been looking at it. And if we take a rectangle tool and just kind of put a rectangle around this guy, try to get it pretty close. And I think I drew another rectangle there. Let's get it about to the top of that. And then let's take this corner and without it, with our ratio locked, well, that's too big. Uh, 0.25, see how close that is? Then, control D and make a duplicate of that box and move it to there. And I'm not worried about this other part right yet because I kind of realize it's maybe even a circle. So we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool and fill in that shape. Other than that, it's been just spun around and I'm not going to worry about the color. So we're going to take this shape. I'm going to, they draw in different, and there's CMYK, so I'm really messed up, but it's, I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that and move the center to the rotation of this tip and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, control D, control D. Look at that. Now, I don't, I don't really know if it is a circle, but it looks like a circle. If let me move my boxes, because you could, I could have rounded them off before. But I'm going to get right in the middle. I'm going to hold down the control and the shift key. Look at that. Now, if I would have nudged this, I could, I'd be done. And let's group this together, control G. And let's grab our circle and maybe it'll get right to the center. I'm gonna use the intersect tool and I'm gonna take the intersect away and look at that. Now, don't want any outline look like. And if we, if that's the true color of the logo, you could always go to the color eyedropper tool and take a sample of that color and put it in these individual pieces. That's pretty amazing. We might be a hair off, but this is way too fuzzy to draw it or to trace it. And this would be dead on. And they did say they were going to retype the text. They had what text it was. This, they'll let me know if they need any help with that. I don't, this should be easy, but I don't want to take the time right now to do it. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.